Hey, Sneaky Links back tonight. And I thought tonight we'd have a look at online photo editing. So I've gone to Google and I've just typed that in. I want to have a little look around at what's available. Now, the first one that comes up is Photo Flexer. Well, it's not the first, but it's the one I looked at. Bad point is, it didn't want to upload my photos. Now, I'm using Firefox in Ubuntu here, but it didn't want to know, it just couldn't find the files. So, what I thought I'd do is use one of their own files, just to have a little play. Now, considering it's one of their own files, it took a long while to get going. I've actually edited this bit as well. But when we actually get there, it ain't too bad. So, no, we'll give it a little while, as you do. And there's a photo we're going to play with. Now, is there effects up here and all the stuff they do? Is the basics, or effects, red eyes, blah blah blah. All that you would normally find in stuff you'd get with your camera or your printer, actually. And a few extras, blah blah blah. You know, there's nothing special going along there. Animated love stars, blah blah blah. So, if you're on Facebook and stuff, this probably might be the one for you because you do little animations and that. And it's got layers and geek. Why geek? Let's have a look at geek. Well, that's not really geek, is it? So, we'll leave that a while alone. But uh, we'll have a little play with this one. What shall I do first? I'll tell you what, we'll go to adjust. Or, no, we'll go to contrast. Now, if you adjust the contrast, if you look carefully, it affects the picture quite a lot. So, what I've done, I've adjusted the contrast up and turned the brightness down. So it's a bit milky, so to say. Now I'm going to saturate the colours. Now you see they're like a really sandy red, like you would imagine San Francisco to be, something like that. But if you play with the hue, you can also get different more stuff out of it, you know what I mean? There you go. Well, I do a lot of stuff on GIMP, you see. And I like GIMP, and I've got all the plugins for it, etc. So I can play around for hours and hours with one picture. But if you just want stuff just to do online, but you want a little bit of uh, input from yourself, you know, Photo, photo, not too bad, but it wouldn't upload. So, what should we do next? Picnic. Alright, I didn't actually do anything with Picnic, basically because you had to register and I thought I wasn't going to waste my time doing it. But what well, it says, it looks pretty good, but hey, I didn't want to waste my time. Fixer, on the other hand, you can play with before you start. You, you can play, uh, sign up afterwards. So, I'll click OK and I'm going to upload a file. I've got I've just to put it on my desktop, just a random file. I do quite a bit of photography, blends the mind, bit of karma, bit of yin and yang, and all that sort of stuff. It took longer to upload, obviously, so it's a five meg file, so it's quite large. There it is, bit of flower everything. And what we got over here, you can actually do quite a lot with this one, but it's sort of same as what you get the stuff you get with your cameras and that if you're using Windows, because they're all Windows programs, obviously. So what we're going to do again, is the same as we did with the last one really, is play with about brightness and stuff. Now this time you get a lot more options. You get the temperature option, which warms the colours up. Okay, so I've adjusted that. I'm going to saturate them as well. Okay. Give them more of an oomph. So with that, and we also get a preview of this, which is quite good. I'm going to do contrast again, which is also on a scale. And you'll see what I mean a bit later when we try one of the others. There you go. That's not too bad, that's actually has made quite a bit of a difference here, although I would rather see more of a difference. I want something to stand out. So we're going to try and sharpen the photo. So I'll click yes. Now it actually has worked, although it's on a one by one basis, but you can see stuff standing out, which ain't bad. You've got other stuff here as well, make instant photos, just like little fun things. But that's not really what I'm looking for. But you can, once you've done this, even though you don't have to sign up for it, you can download it yourself again or post it on the web, whatever. So Fixer's quite good. Okay, well, what's next? Pixelate we're going to try. Now at first you think, this looks crap. But as you go into it, it ain't actually too bad. So I'm going to upload the same picture again. There we go. I've edited this bit because the upload is quite a big upload. So, you know, phew takes a little while, so I've shaved a minute or so off there. Now this is when you can see it's quite a large file and how slow my broadband is. Mm, we're at a snail's pace tonight. I hate Xbox 360s, don't you? God blimey, do me head in. Anyway, there's the actual photo. Now that's quite actually too large to play with really, isn't it? Because it's on hundred percent. So we're gonna scale that down just a bit. Uh, that's not too bad, but no, okay, that's about right, isn't it? We can do some stuff with that. 
you've got your crop tools, resize tools, and your rotate tools, and etc. etc. They're all the same basically. But what I'm going to do again is go down to what we did before on the other sites where my mouse decides it wants to. That is, we've got enhanced that, but we'll come back to that in a minute. Red eyes there is standard, as you know. Right, so we'll go back to the color tools. Now, this one you also get a bar. So, what we're going to do first is saturate the colors. And you also get a preview of this one, isn't another good one because you really want to preview them before you do them. But also online, it all depends on your monitor resolution as well. Don't forget that. So have a good play before you start, and you can also upload them to Flickr straight away from this as well. It's not too bad. So go back to the color tools again. I'm going to play with so the contrast. Now there's no bar for this one. You only get plus one, plus two. So I'll do plus two. I'll give it a little bit and whoosh. Now you can see quite a bit of a difference there, can't you? The colours are really standing out and other stuff, but we really need to zoom in as well, really. See what I mean? It looks a bit too green, so I would adjust the colours again normally. But I won't do that just now. But I'm just showing you what you can do with online stuff. If you don't want to get proprietary stuff like that. Well, Photoshop's the one for Windows, really, isn't it? But like, if you want a decent one, how many grand is that? Is that a grand now? I don't know. Who knows? No. We're going to normalise the picture now. There you go, it's updating. We give it a little while. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We should be done round about now. I think that's done now, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, oh, yes, you can see now. I hope you can see this in the video. You can actually see more detail in these stems on this flower. So that was really good. I like that one. That's quite, quite good, that one. But on the whole, there's loads out there. Give them a try, sneaky Linux.